welcome back to the series of videos uh, trying to explain the internal assessment in the IBDP for computer science. This video focuses on the criterion A which is uh, termed as planning and we'll try to explain how this criterion is marked or graded as well as what are all the components that must be present within your documentation to get that grade. So if you look at this uh, particular slide, you can understand that the maximum marks for the planning criterion is uh, 6 and you come in the last uh, or the highest grade uh, boundary where an appropriate scenario for investigation for an identified client providing evidence of consultation. Basically, this providing in evidence of consultation refers to an interview that you do with your client. And uh, it is expected that there is uh, a transcript of your interview as an appendix to be added. It's expected and also your uh, reference to the interview must be present in your planning document. So reference meaning uh, probably right in the beginning of the document you could mention that an interview was conducted with my client on this date at this venue in this language and a transcript of this is already present in the appendix A and uh, this document has a gist of the interview conducted with my client. Uh, an introduction, something of uh, something like this could be written right in the beginning of the document, uh, which will satisfy this point of providing the evidence of consultation. Now, this is the first part of it. The second part is actually the rationale that you see. That is the justification. Rationale means justification. So you need to provide the justification for two things in here. One is the product that you have chosen for your client. So what kind of a solution is it? Is it a database solution? Is it a programming solution? Is it an Excel uh, spreadsheet solution or what? So you need to justify why you're choosing this particular product for your client. Why is this product the best for your client? So that justification is the first one you need to do. And the second justification is for whatever software you're using or language, programming language you're using, you need to provide a justification for that as well. So these two justifications have to be put up in the second part of your document. So and also there is one more third part of this, which is referred to as a success criteria. Success criteria is basically a list of features that you propose for your product based on which you can uh, evaluate the success of your product. So what does the criterion A include? A client who has a problem and here you need to describe the problem briefly because the word count that you end up doing is roughly about 500 words in this document. Okay, you need to remember that the success criteria which is actually a bulleted point list is not counted under the word count. So you have only the first two parts which have word count. So you have a consultation with the client and agree a solution and you briefly describe the suitability of your solution. This is what I meant by saying the rationale for the suitability of the solution. And then you identify success criteria and you need to make sure that you have all three parts within the document. So again, I'm reiterating the word count doesn't apply for the success criteria, which is a bulleted point list. In the section A, you can see that uh, the part, it is divided into part one, part two and part three. Part one is actually the scenario, basically where you are explaining who your client is and what the client's problem is and what kind of a solution you have come up with. In fact, you don't need to explain your solution anything in here, but it is 
uh, advisable to explain the problem the client is facing so we come back to the rationale for the solution in here in the part 2 you need to give a brief outline of what your product will do to solve the client's problems and justify why you are going to use the specific software to develop the product so when i say software it can refer to any kind of an application software or a programming language you need to write your reasons for why you are choosing why you think that that solution or that software is the best choice coming to the third part that's the success criteria you need to give at least five to seven success criteria that is these are points with make your product a success so there are a few examples in here you can have a look at them these could be considered as a success criteria the thing you need to remember most in here is that the success criteria that you write in here will be carried on into the criterion b and then again into criterion c into d as well as the e so the success criteria is extremely important in your internal assessment because you have a reference to these same success criteria throughout your internal assessment. So it's a good idea that you can make your success criteria as clear as possible. Come back for the criterion B in the next session. All the best.